Hi, I'm Jacob Marquis with the Rowdy Rugby Resource Researchers, and today we're going to be talking about the physics of rugby and how using those physics can help benefit you in the game. First, we are going to start off by talking about Newton's three laws of motion. Newton's first law states that an object in motion will stay in motion and an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. This can be observed in rugby by a player running with the ball. They will continue to run until he or she is tackled by an opposing force. Newton's second law states that an object's force is equal to its mass times its acceleration. Take two rugby players, for example. Player one has a mass of 50 kilograms an acceleration of 2 meters per second. Player 2 has a mass of 25 kilograms and an acceleration of 4 meters per second. Both of these players have a force of 100 newtons. So basically, a player with a smaller mass will need to apply a larger acceleration to equal the force of a player with a larger mass and a smaller acceleration. Shane, the rugby player, has a mass of 60 kilograms and will be traveling with an acceleration of 2.5 meters per second. We can use the force equals mass times acceleration equation to figure out with what force he will be hitting a player with. Looks like Joey just got hit with 150 newtons worth of force. We know that the force applied was 150 newtons because of Shane's mass times its acceleration, which is 60 kilograms times 2.5 meters per second. The third law states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. In rugby, when two players collide, they will exert the same amount of force on each other no matter what the acceleration or the mass. Now let's apply what we know to real life situations in order to better your performance. Although your shoes may seem the same, the smallest difference in mass can have a huge difference on the acceleration. Let's say that this shoe has a slightly larger mass than this shoe. Assuming Shane's force does not change, the lighter shoe will give him a quicker acceleration than the heavier shoe. To test this, we will have Shane run with both pairs of shoes to see if there's any difference in his acceleration. Right now, he is wearing the shoes with the larger mass. Now we will try the same test with the shoes with a smaller mass. Although this test was a little lighthearted, the point still holds true and can be found with the force equals mass times acceleration equation. So please, consider the following. Let's say that this shoe is one kilogram and this shoe is two kilograms. If Shane was running with a force of 50 newtons, the acceleration from this shoe will be 25 meters per second squared, and this shoe will be 50 meters per second squared. Another thing to consider is air resistance. Air resistance is the frictional force exerted on an object due to the air around it. For instance, a shirt with more surface area will create more drag due to air resistance and will slow down your acceleration. Now, take a shirt with less surface area. Air resistance will not have as much of an effect on this, which means that the object will be able to move faster. As you can see, the equipment you buy does have an effect on your performance in the game. Thank you for watching another installment of the Rowdy Rugby Resource Researchers. I'm Jacob Marquis. Go team and go physics.